Hello again, uh, my name is Hugh and welcome to my channel and as you can see I'm already in the workshop so today's project is going to be using this which is a piece of London plain or lace wood and I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but the grain is spectacular so, as you can see this is five inches square and three inches wide and I've marked the centers of each side and I found the center of this and marked a circle so I will be cutting the corners off on the blanks and I'm going to be making a couple of ashtrays for my brother and he um, smokes cigars, uh, proper cigars and I've seen a few videos of making them, one of which was Louis in Woodworking 220-7 and Louis put a stainless steel plate in the middle of his ashtray and I said where did you get those from because I've tried to find them and I can't he said oh, I've got loads of them do you want some so he sent me some bless him small ones and the large ones and they're stainless steel so as you can see it's gonna fit very nicely inside there so I'll put a link to Louis's channel up there um, so please do go and check him out he's a very generous person if you remember when I turned the wing cedar bowl that was a piece of red cedar that um, Louis very very kindly sent to me so the reason for finding the center of each of those as you know the cigar the cigar ashtray or cigarette ashtray has um, reliefs in so or indents in it to put the cigar so what I'm going to do is drill down 25 mil uh, so look yeah 20 mil on each of those four sides and then I'm going to cut it in half so that I can then I've already got the, the holes so these two will match perfectly because uh, I'm going to give my brother the pair of them so yeah um, I'll then be attaching this to the worm screw that I've already got on there with a packing plate on it so that it gives me a bit of room to work with so something like that so I can just hollow out the ashtray so I can't get a camera anywhere near my um, drill press so I'm going to take this to the drill press drill the four holes and then take it to the bandsaw um, cut it down the middle and I'll bring you back when it's time then to uh, drill the hole ready for the worm screw so I'll see you in a bit well, so that's what it looked like um, holes drilled in all four corners I used an 8 inch and 1 8 force and a bit and then bandsaw down the middle I found centers so it's now back to the bandsaw knock the corners off drill a hole get it on the wood screw worm screw I'll see you in a few minutes so it's all mounted on the screw check or the worm screw check so I'm only going to video me turning one of these so uh, let's crack on with it
Okay, so I'm just going to sand the inside and then uh, finish that bit, put the hand sanding on here and then I'll show you what happens to the snuff plate. So I'll bring you back when it's all sanded. Okay, while the uh, mess or denatured alcohol is um, drying off, I always tell I always tell you when things go wrong and believe it or not things have gone wrong but it's not the end of the world stupid one here forgot that point on the three inch portion of it is a lot bigger than the one that was on the two point or the two and one eighth portion of it which I first used and I've gone through the bottom <laughs> but it's not a problem because that's going to hide it on that side and my logo coin will hide it on the other side and as long as my brother doesn't watch this video he will never know okay so a bit more hand sanding and then um, no yeah, some Yorkshire grit, sorry, and then the normal and the microfine, and then I'm going to redo the finish because I'm actually going to use Howard's feeding wax on it. So it's going to be exactly the same as the outside. So I'll bring you back when it's time to do what Louis suggested with that one. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let that go off for 20 minutes or so, so then buff it off, I'll then skim that very lightly because it is quite thin, just to get rid of any wax, so when I've done what I need to do with the snapping plate, I can uh, um, glue it in with some 5 minute epoxy, so as I always say, must be time for a cup of tea, see you in a bit. Hello again. Well, this is the following day because I got called in for dinner uh, yesterday and uh, had a glass of wine with my meal, which means no more workshop time. Um, but I've had a couple of stickers in the post. One from Sehani Biljula, who is Mehmet. Mehmet is in Turkey. And Tanya Besha and she's in the States. They're both fantastic channels. I'll put links up there and down below. Please go and check them out. You won't, as I always say, you won't be disappointed. Uh, both brilliant channels. So I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to warm up and then I'll be able to, I've got a 
glue chuck glue block in there so I'm just going to hot glue a little bit of that there and then I can polish this up I'm going to try Yorkshire grit um, the normal one and then the ultra fine or the micro fine and if that doesn't work I've got some metal polish so I think the, the Yorkshire grit will be fine so let's crack on with that Hang on to that for a couple of minutes while it just sets off and then leave it five minutes or so just to go hard. I have actually cleaned this off with meths or denatured alcohol just to get any oils that's off on it off. <laughs> she said, oh, that didn't last very long. That's solid, but didn't stick to there. So, off camera, it's a bit shinier, but I'm just going to revert to the old fashioned way of good bit of elbow grease and some metal polish. I'll bring you back when it's all done. Well, that didn't take long. I'm quite happy with that. That's as shiny as I want it. After all, it's only going to have cigars stubbed out on it. So, now time to epoxy this into the ashtray. I've already put my logo in the bottom. So, ah, you can see the hole. <coughs> so, let me just get set up for that and then I'll show you that a little bit. Okay, that didn't work. More. There's a bit more on there. Put it down. And leave that on there for 10 minutes or so just to let it set off. So, that one's done. I do like the finish of the Howard's feeding wax. It's just a nice little sheen. Feels nice in the hand. Um, so, off camera now, I'm going to be making the other one. So, I'll see you back in the chair and hopefully I'll have both of them ready to show you. See you soon. Hello again. Well, here they are. Two ashtrays. Logos on the bottom. The snuff plates, snuffing plates. As I said, they're a very, very kind gift from Louis. Uh, Woodworking 220-7, so please don't give, give him a, a look on his channel. If you're not subscribed, please do. He's, he's a lovely person and he does amazing work. Uh, but I'll put a link to him up there, down there. Also, have a look at um, Mehmet and Tanya's channel. Sorry, Tanya. Um, they are really really good so yeah. these finished just over five inches in diameter inch and a half um tall so i'm happy with them um as i said in the video if my brother doesn't watch this then he'll never know about the hole in the bottom of that one and in that one you thought i'd learnt, but i didn't so yeah, it's it was fun. It was a fun thing to do. And if it's your first time here and you've liked what you've seen, you can subscribe through clicking my icon at the bottom. And then if you click all on the notification bell, YouTube lets you know when I upload my videos, which is normally a Thursday morning. Um, if you liked it, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment either way. 
I do read them all and I reply to them all as well uh, all you oldies as ever jock about thank you very very much uh, so I've got something interesting planned for next week uh, it is in the planning stage so if I can get it to work it's I will be over the moon um, and that's all I'll say about that bit so yeah please like it share it um, if you're not subscribed subscribe if you care to um, I'd love to have you on board and hopefully make more videos that you'll be entertained by so I'll put some pictures up at the end and all I've got to say now is please stay safe take care everybody see you next week and well <laughs>